Hi friends, today, I will show you how you can obtain the SHA-1 and SHA-256 key. First of all, you can run signing report from the Gradle section on the right of the interface, or you can select signing report and run the application. If you cannot see the signing report option from the Gradle section, you can use the key tool option as the second method to obtain the SHA-1 key. For this, you must use the terminal screen. As the terminal, you can either use the terminal area of your project in Android Studio or open the terminal screen from your computer. For this, you can open command prompt by typing CMD in the search bar. After opening the terminal screen, the first thing you have to do is access the Java folder. The Java folder is in the Program Files folder. If you don't have a Java folder like this, you can install the required JDKJRE from the Oracle site. Our goal is to access the JRE file here from the terminal screen. Now let's open the terminal screen again. I get to the main folder by typing cd dot dot. Now I'm writing CD program files. Now I'm typing CD Java. Now we will access the JRE folder. I copy the folder name and paste it into the terminal screen. Finally, we have to access the bin file in the JRE folder. I write CD bin for this. Now we can use the necessary commands to obtain the SHA-1 key. I'm copying the command here. I paste it on the terminal screen. I write key tool at the beginning of the command. In addition, we must write the path to the .android folder here. I copy the path to the .android folder in the users folder. I paste the file path I copied into the terminal screen. Finally, I write dash list dash v at the end of the command. When we press enter, it asks us to enter password. The password here is Android by default. I write Android in lowercase letters as the password. Passwords that you type in the terminal area do not appear. Pressing enter, we got the SHA-1 and SHA-256 keys as you can see. I hope it was useful. Good codings for you all.